hello guys welcome to tech design hope everyone is doing great so in this tutorial we are going to discuss on ordinate dimensions so in the previous tutorial i have already discussed uh, uh, rapid dimension and linear dimension as well as all these three uh, you know dimensioning so if you have not checked that video please go to my playlist uh, drafting playlist and you can just uh, check all those videos so now in this studio uh, in this tutorial i am going to explain you how we can give this ordinate dimension so and also we should know uh, what is the difference between between uh, normal dimension and ordinate dimension so in ordinate dimension you are going to mention a single co uh, ordinate single point from where you want to measure all the dimensions say for example here you can see there are a number of uh, you know circles say for example for all these circles if you want to measure the distance from a single point and then you can able to use uh, ordinate dimensions so i will show you how this works so that you will able to understand it better so now we'll go to uh, ordinate dimension and you can see there are two options single and multiple so first we'll discuss on uh, single so once you select a single uh, you just need to mention uh, origin here so you can see here this is my origin i am just providing so once you uh, select up origin then we have to give an object say from this origin uh, all the dimensions will be uh, measured so now you can see here there is an activate baseline and activate perpendicular so it is nothing but a baseline is the one which is along this direction say for example let me consider this as a y direction so along y direction what it is a uh, baseline if it is a uh, perpendicular is nothing but along as x direction so now it is activated with a baseline so now i will just select this so as you can see here when uh, activate baseline is activated along y direction there will be a you know a dimensions that is created as you can see now whenever i select an each uh, you know circle so it will create a one ordinate dimension from which is measured from this uh, whatever the point origin we have provided now say for example if i activate this and i'll switch off this and now if i select this now you can see here along y direction sorry x direction there is a dimensions that is created so this is how it works guys uh, a single you know single dimensions so now i uh, will just close this and now what i will do is i will just try to provide an um, multiple direction say for example multiple dimension so i'll just go to multiple dimension and these are some you know um, your customization if you want only to select arcs and uh, some other uh, duplicates all those things if you want you can just uh, uh, check those things so now i will just hide this and uh, i'll just provide this as my origin so this is my origin and when it comes to multiple dimension you just need to provide a margin so in case if you are not provided any margin so now you can see here once you select it will show you the error so you just need to go to margin so i'll just provide this as a margin and i'll just click okay so margin you don't need to worry you will get two margin lines here as you can see spacing line and then uh, offset lines so these two lines will disappear once you click close so uh, so now i have selected this as you can see here there is a 200 mm of length from here to here and there is a 40 mm length from here to here there are two dimensions that is generated so in the same case here as well so so as soon as you select this so there will be two dimensions 385 so and then here as well 345 so once you click ok uh, you can see here there are margin lines are gone so this is how this coordinate ordinate uh, dimension works guys so if you have any doubts please comment in the section below and uh, subscribe to my channel hit a like button as well as share my videos thank you guys